guys, welcome to my channel and to today's video. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Literally, this is... Why have I never heard of this, actually? Like, not this brand, but like just a powder sunscreen in general. Is this a new thing or has this always been around? Because literally, I was so excited when I saw this. Um, and I've heard, like, this brand is super goop. I've actually heard about them a couple of times. I feel like they're really like up and coming i've heard about them on tiktok um but yeah i had a little look on sephora and they've actually got so many like little sunscreen bits um so i'm looking forward to giving them a try this year but the one thing i wanted to pick up straight away was the setting powder um it's spf 30 it's got uva and uvb it doesn't say what star though so usually i always go for the highest star which is it three or five yeah, I always make sure to get a uh, five star UVA and UVB. So it doesn't actually say what it is on here. It just says high protection and SPF 30. Um, and I always go in with a sun cream anyway. So that's I make sure that's got five star. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be applying this on top of makeup. So one thing I also noticed is it's not a setting powder. It says re-setting powder. Can you see? I don't know if it's too shiny to see on there. But um, so basically you just do your makeup as normal, apply your setting powder, like your normal one, and then you just pop this powder on top throughout the day to keep your SPF topped up. I do have like combination skin, like sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily, so I can kind of switch up between a mist and also um, a powder. But these guys also do uh, over the makeup, over the, over the top of the makeup mist as well. So if you don't really like powder, they have got a mist, so I'll be interested to try that out. But I'll wait kind of until summer months to give the mist a go. And then this one and the mist retail for £30 each. Um, I do think it's a little bit pricey, but if it works, I feel like there's not much like this on the market. Okay, so like I said, I've already got all of my makeup products on, plus powder, plus I've already applied this once earlier today. So I wanted to see how it wears. Um, obviously, well, I'm from the UK, we never have any sun, so I can't tell you what it's like at the moment, like if it actually protects from the sun. I'll have to wait like a couple of months when we've actually got some sunshine to be able to tell you if it's protected my skin. Um, but this is just like first impressions. And like I said, I applied it um, once already. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it again because I want to see if it gets cakey. Um, just on first impressions, when I applied this on top of my makeup and my powder, it's it. I saw no difference. Like it didn't disturb my makeup, didn't make me look dry. It didn't like really sit in my creases because that's what I worry about with powder. That's why I prefer a spray because I just feel like too much powder. I end up looking so cakey, especially under the eyes. Um, and to be honest, it hasn't like hopefully it stays that way it hasn't bothered my skin or got too cakey or powdery if i was using this on a day out though i'd probably apply it like five or six times honestly um so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and apply my second layer of this so basically this is what it looks like you just take the lid off and then you can slide this bit up and down to just protect the bristles and pop the lid back on so it's really easy to like chuck in your bag so I'm just going to pop that down and then you twist it at the bottom to turn it on and off like that. So once it's on, I just give it a few dabs on the back of my hand just to kind of, can you see the, the powder obviously comes out of the middle and it does come with a little bit like this, which you have to just pull out and remove. Like I was looking it at first because it's quite stiff to get out. I was looking thinking, what the hell is this? But yeah, just give it a pull and it will come out. Um, and then the powder comes out in the middle. So I just tap it around to kind of disperse it. And then literally, I'll go ahead and apply onto this side. So I'm just applying this really quickly because this is what I would do in real life. I'd just dab it over like this. And that is like, that's it. That's that side of the face done. Um, I wouldn't spend too much time like really, really pressing it because I just don't want too much in one go. Um, I feel like it's definitely taken some of the shine away. I feel like it's quite brightening as well. I, I know with some like sunscreen products you can get like a white cast. I wouldn't necessarily expect that with a powder, but it does look a little bit brightening. Like again, 
I don't feel like it's really disturbed any of the makeup. It's not added to any cakiness. Um, maybe under the eye a tiny bit looks a bit more dry just because it is a bit more dry. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and just pop it onto the other side as well. Oh, I had quite a lot come out there. So don't push really hard like I just did. Just gonna dust this all over. Honestly, I'll be so pleased if this works because I feel like I've been wanting something like this for ages. And yeah, that's on the other side. So I actually think it makes the skin look pretty nice. Like once I've actually had a chance to use this, then then oh, I've just hit myself with those. Then I can give another review, but. Just on first impressions and like how it goes on the skin, I actually think it looks really good and I don't think it changes what's underneath. Like sometimes, have you ever like, so for example, if I go to an event or something and I've got concealer and then powder, if I'm like on the train and I touch up my under eye with a little bit more powder, it just, it's just like a no-go. It gets so cakey and disgusting. So I was thinking I was going to get that with this, but actually... It's all right. So yeah, I'm unable to rate this out of five on this occasion just because I can't, like I want to give it a five because I like it on first impressions, but I haven't worn it and I can't give, you know, like a true review of it. Um, so yeah, I'll come back and make sure to do a review in the summer. But if anyone's used this like, and you're from a warm country, then please do let me know. I'll be so interested to... Um, See what you think about it but yeah if this works i would a million percent pay 30 pounds again for it um so excited to see like use this throughout the summer and see but yeah that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching uh make sure to subscribe to my channel check out my other channels tiktok instagram and i'll see you in my next video